guys, Ralph here. Welcome to True Power Health and Fitness here in Norwalk, Connecticut. It's a great day, but I am steamed. I am steamed. My daughter is a senior at Penn State University. She has one week of classes left, okay? And then she graduates, okay? Honor roll student, this means nothing. The fact she's an honor roll student, or she could be the worst student in the school, it doesn't matter. But these are civil liberties, mean nothing at Penn State University. Her boyfriend was pinged to get a, a COVID test. Okay? Just out of the random COVID test he went in, he had COVID. Tested positive. Okay? No symptoms, nothing. Just tested positive. Okay? My daughter, being the good person that she is, she's the type of girl that's never done anything wrong in her life, the minute she found out of it, goes over to get tested. Okay? She goes over a site to get tested. And I said, why are you getting tested? And I said, my friend was tested positive. They would not let her get tested. They immediately put her into quarantine and she can't get tested until Wednesday. She's got finals coming up and she can't get out of quarantine until Wednesday and she is perfectly fine. Now, in what country, in, in what, you, you, she has no rights? I just cut a check for $200,000 to pay for four years. I'm paying their salary. And they wouldn't even test her? A test takes a minute and a half. Stick it up your nose and she's done. All they had to do is say, okay, you're good, stay away from it. That's a, no, they put her into quarantine and she can't get tested until Wednesday at the earliest. Now, if she was tested positive, Absolutely quarantine, but th th this is ridiculous. She has no rights. She has studying to do, and she's got to go back and, and pack up like she's leaving for home, leaving for Siberia, to just go to... A this is ridiculous. And these are Penn State laws. I have it from people that said, these, this is not state, this is not federal. Penn State just made this up themselves. John Bexler told me that, and Deb Gray told me that. This is ridiculous, guys. We have rights in this country that are just being trampled. And this is ridiculous. Now, I think COVID-19 is a big scam to begin with. But the fact that they can put my daughter in jail, in quarantine, for no reason. She came in contact with somebody who also is showing no symptoms. First of all, it's not the way diseases like this are transmitted. It's not. It's the biggest fallacy in the whole world. All they had to do was take a test and send her, and she said, please test me. They refused to do that. Deb Gray and John Bexler refused to give her a test. She had to go to quarantine, and she will not be, t this is Saturday. Saturday to Sunday, Sunday to Monday, Monday to Tuesday, Tuesday went four days. She's got to stay in quarantine for no reason. None. Now, if there's a reason, quarantine her. But this is the most Nazi, communist, Marxist, socialist pile of crap that I've ever heard in my life. And I'm so sick of it. You can't watch the NBA because LeBron James is telling me I'm a racist. You can't. Please. I am paying for her to be locked up for no reason. And yes, I have a big freaking problem with that. And this could happen to you about anything, guys. This is what's going on. And if you don't fight back, you're out of your mind. You're out of your mind. I'm going to get a lawyer this afternoon. Okay? Now, the fact of the matter is, there probably isn't a lawyer on God's green earth that will take this case. That's my problem. The irony is... My daughter's going to law school. She's not ready yet. Or she'd have a she'd slap them with a lawsuit be, before they could, they, they could get it out of their mouth. This is a travesty that's going on. An absolute 
travesty that's going on. And every single one of us, if you're not pissed off about this, you are out of your mind because it could happen to you. And don't tell me that we're doing this for the greater good. Don't tell me that we are doing for this for the greater good. Research shows beyond a shadow of a doubt, pre-K students to 24-year-olds do not get sick and the, the, the amount of them that die is so infinitesimal, there, there's like five zeros to the right of the decimal point. The notion that we have to have this hysteria is out of your mind. Put your mask on, stay away from people, but quarantining people for nothing, absolutely nothing, is barbaric. And it points, to a, it points to a larger problem, a much larger problem, and that our, cities, our civil liberties are screwed. Our civil liberties are screwed. And you know what, what I'm about to say? You don't have to like them. But Donald Trump was the only one fighting for this. And I understand how you may not like him. But this Biden shit, this Kamala Harris shit, this is absolutely a fallacy, COVID-19. And I'm paying $200,000 to have my daughter literally thrown into jail because she happened to be near somebody that tested positive. And he hasn't gotten a second test yet. How many false positives do we have? Guys, this is ridiculous and I'm sick and tired of it and I'm going on a rampage anyway eat and drink your fruits and vegetables that's all you have to do you don't need a vaccine or anything else love you all